let's start. Okay, good morning. Assalamualaikum. And it is beautiful Saturday morning. Thank you everybody who joining in. So it's early in the morning, but it's, it's a good start, right? So Assalamualaikum. My name is Suryani and you can call me Sue. We are from Glamomics under the branch of, um, sorry, we are uh, Alpha today. So we are going to show demonstration how this thermomic works okay so thank you again for joining us today so i wish to know more about you so can i know who's here for the first timer so you can uh, chat in the box okay so we'll do this as interactive as we uh, can okay so whoever who's first time to see this demo uh, for thermomics you, please can you uh, click number one so that we can know you. Um, number one for first timer for the Momix uh, demonstration. So chat in the box. Thank you very much, Siti Haja. Hello, Jocelyn. Hi, HY. Thank you. That's loads of first timer. That's really good. Thank you very much for coming in. Oh, okay. Impressive. Okay, we're, but we do have the existing customer as well who wants to see. The um, recipes done today, you can check number two, just to see our existing customer. Okay, we have a lot of number ones today. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, let's start then. Thank you very much for joining me in. So let's start. Okay, so first foremost, I wanted to know that let me know what is important to you when cooking. Is it easy? You can check in the box. Is it um, the time? Okay, you want to save time. Is it money saving? Um, we've been in this pandemic about what one and a half year already and you feel like um, spending a lot of uh, ordering food is cost a lot of money. You can type money saving that you're looking for or if you are actually on strict diet, um, medically, you want to find healthy food, okay? So we have a dem uh, demo for keto food today. So if you're looking for healthy, you can check healthy. Easy, convenient. Yeah, Ida, that's good. Okay, who is actually looking for creativity? You want to create more food than the normal ones that you've been cooking day in and day out, yeah? So you're looking for more recipes, you want to explore more, you want to give um to to serve to your family different recipes every day so you're looking for creativity you can put creativity or if it, it, it is time saving if you are actually working from home and you still want to cook for lunch and dinner for your family and it's easy just touch and go this is what you want to have in your kitchen okay so thermomix um let's know oh sorry yes my oven there so basically uh let's know about thermomix okay so uh we normally call this bb german right so then we know it is actually coming from germany and it is what worldwide known and it has actually at 80 uh, countries it covers 80 countries with loads of awards okay so they are actually well established okay so this Thermomix brand is actually well established uh, in the market, whereby we started off at as uh, early as 1960s. And it was just a simple blender back then, right? So it evolved through time. And until today, we have our TM6. So what are you looking at here? This is what we call TM6, right? So the TM6, what's the difference between all the versions before? So we have loads of different between the, uh, the last version to this current version because we have what Wi file built in. Okay, so let's uh, touch on cookie dough um, afterwards by my fellow colleagues and myself as well. Okay, so let's go through cookie dough later on. Okay, so um, as we speak, actually in the world, uh, it has been a research at twenty three seconds. There's someone buying thermometers, yeah. So it is widely known, and in um, even in Malaysia, we have actually Thermomix uh, more than 10 years already in the market, Malaysia market, yeah? So it's well established, okay? Right, so we want to know what we have 
um, when you bought Thermomix with us, what's in the box, okay? So, but before I go through the accessories, I'll be starting my recipes this morning. Um, so my recipe today is a bit healthier, okay? So actually, uh, keto food, if you um, are looking for uh, being healthy, right? You're looking for, um, and I noticed, uh, because at the moment, I'm actually myself going through uh, a bit of changes in terms of my uh, dishes. So um, I'm exploring more keto food these days. And this is one of my favorite. Um, and I would really would like to share with you, okay? So uh, with keto food, with cookie dough, yeah? With cookie dough, we can explore. And that's uh, a specially made keto food. Yeah? So all you need to do is just type in keto. And it has hundreds of recipes. So you can even have your dessert keto-ish. You, you, you can have your bread keto-ish. So you don't feel like you are actually on a strict diet, but you still have um, all this uh, tasty and delicious keto food, okay? And I noticed outside, they are actually selling anything healthy, anything got to do with healthy food, okay? Healthy fat is always very expensive. Now, with the moments, yeah can actually uh, do it at home uh, for yourself, okay? So let's start actually, because I have like a 15 minutes when it's actually steaming all my veggies. So I'll go through the info uh, right then again, okay? So let's start. So what I'm actually doing here, I'm pulling out the recipe that I've actually um, picked for today, which is the keto uh, cauliflower and Brussels sprout cheese bake, okay? So let's start and um, uh, it's actually stored in the, um, I can store all the recipes that I wanted. So all I need to do is I can um, browse via my phone, I can browse via my laptop and I can save it and I can open it from here. I can even search it from here as well. So uh, this screen, touch screen um, LCD monitor actually uh, can also, you can also find your recipes in here, okay? So let's start. So all you need to do is to just click on the recipes. So when you click on the recipes, okay, let me go back to the recipes here. Yeah? So it, it tells you uh, how long does it take, how many portion actually it covers. So if you're actually uh, leaving just two or three person, you want to half the portions because what I'm actually doing is for six person. So if you want to half the portion, you just cut all the portions and just follow through this, uh, the, the, the recipe, the steps, yeah? Okay, um, ingredients are all there. Uh, it will tell you the preparation, uh, preparation you can read through. Um, and then it, it has the nutrition as well, uh, per energy, per kg, per uh, I mean, pro pro protein, carbs, um, and there's also hints and tips at, at the end. So um, that's how we are actually using recipes in cookie dough. Okay, it's all Wi-Fi connected, it's all in there. And we have at this point of time, 30, 75,000 um, recipes in cookie dough, okay? So this is one of the cookie dough and the fact that you can see how it looks like and you want to recreate it. And the best part is when with Thermomix, you are actually looking at it do it and you have it the uh you have the outcome at the end so it's like a it's, it's magic for me it's magic i feel it's a magic okay so let's start cooking so uh we touch uh the start cooking button and it tells you uh to wait okay so okay i'm just gonna move this varoma tray uh dish and it asked me to wait though i have actually weighed all of my ingredients this morning so um, it, it requires me 100 grams of mozzarella and I've cut it into pieces, right? So all I need to do when on a normal cooking time, I'm just gonna tear it and make it zero because it has the way uh, scale uh, built in. So that's the beauty of thermometers because you are actually cooking in precision. So the seductiveness is always there, you know, the quality, the taste, Okay, so uh, just put it in and then you just go next. And it tells you every single step, okay? 
So it, it's so easy, it's so user friendly that my even my kids, you know, even kids can cook with guidance. Yeah. Okay. So it says insert measuring cup and close the lid. So you're actually closing like this. And I just need to close the uh you're using the measuring cup to close it. And then next. Okay. So what it actually doing is grinding my mozzarella. Um, you don't have to remember any steps because it will tell you at the, um, at the bottom here, it says turn speed selector to speed seven. So I can see the three uh, circles here at the end is the speed circle. So just, and you can see that you can And it calls you when it's done for every step, okay? So, and then you can see the interlocking is actually closed and opening when it's done. So this interlocking is actually a safety feature. That's why if you're a mother with a small baby, you know, if you, even with your baby crying or need controlling, you can still cook. <laughs> okay, so that's the best thing about this. Even busy mothers, you are actually even uh, can uh, prepare your food uh, on time, yeah? So what happened to my mozzarella just now in pieces? Just a few seconds, it's really nicely grated for you, okay? So, okay, all right. So that's that. Um, I'm just gonna put this aside because it says to put in a dish and then uh, go next, okay? Transfer into a bowl. Then it says every single step. Next, I rinse the mixing bowl, but I have another bowl, so it's fine. Uh, Preheat the oven, which I already did. And then it's just next and next, okay? So prepare the dish. Even the dish, it will tell you the measurement, okay? So this is the exact measurement that it requires. And then I put water. So it's gonna put this again right here. This, now I'm just gonna put water. So even the, uh, like you can see, um, here, uh, the measurement is not zero. You just tear it to make it zero. So whenever you have uh, any ingredients in it, it's okay to add on, you just put it zero. So imagine if you're baking, if, if you love baking and you love, you know, um, baking, especially you need a precise measurement of ingredients, right? You don't have to find your measuring skill, I mean, your weighing skill. So, um, yeah, just let's put water. So I have measured this. Okay. So just the connect and then paste Varoma on the position. It will tell you every single step, yeah? Okay, just like that. And then the connect, weigh the Varoma dish. Okay, so it says uh, 250 Brussels sprouts. And cut into half. So I'm just gonna tear it. Just gonna put things here. Okay, so this is what we call Varoma um, dish. Okay, so this Varoma is actually a steamer. Okay, so when you want to steam your food, you are actually using this uh, method um, whereby this is what we it has like three, three different pieces. So this below is Varoma bowl, and then we have the tray, and it's this, this. This is the lid, okay? So um, you use this for steaming and it's huge. It's 3.3 liter. You can even put a whole chicken on it, okay? So my daughter actually uh, made the ayam panggang, okay? Ayam panggang, uh, even uh, we have to steam it first. So the whole chicken is actually in there and then we chop it in the oven. So, um, so we have this Varoma, uh, tree, which I will show you how we steam our veggie. So if you want to steam your fish, your chicken, your veggie. So this is one complete whole kitchen um, appliance whereby at the same time, you can cook the whole uh, one complete dish whereby you can do soup in the middle and you can do rice or you can do potatoes in the middle. And then on the top, you can put your ingredients like meat, fish, or even seafood. And then on the other tray is for your veggie. In as, safe, as low as, as short as 18 minutes, you actually have a complete dish. So imagine if you are actually so busy, 
in the day, you still can have a complete dish in 18 minutes. So that's the beauty of having thermomix, okay? So let's put this uh, Brussels um, sprout and cut into um, half. Okay, you know this Brussels sprout? So um, though it's not widely uh, used, so uh, this reminds me to Christmas dinner, actually, yeah? So Christmas dinner, uh, we have a lot of, uh, they, they normally serve this Brussels sprout. But say, if you're not a fan of Brussels sprout, because they are the rasa sikit, but it's actually good, um, you can actually use uh, broccoli, okay? So broccoli, budak-budak pun suka, right? Kids are, uh, kids are loving it. And with uh, even broccoli, when it's uh, using Thermomix, the veggie um, is green and it looks so fresh. Okay, we'll see the result after this. Okay, let's let's put it in. So I put two off types, even though it's Brussels sprout, I'm just gonna add the broccoli uh, florets as well, okay? Okay, so 250 gram, just gonna, gonna put it in there. Okay, sorry. Put it in there and stand. Um, okay, and then the kind next with the Varoma dish tray. Sorry, so Varoma tray. And this is where I put um, my clo uh, cauliflower. Okay, so this clo uh, ca cauliflower. Um, if you are actually on strict diet or you want to, you know, um, replace your rice with flour. Have you ever taste um, makan cauliflower uh, rice? Actually, it's really good. So as you can see, this one dish uh, using a lot of cauliflower actually is act uh, to replace for keto. It's to replace your cups. Yeah. So instead of uh, getting your cups, you are actually using um, veggie to replace it. So one thing about keto that I actually learned, uh, it, it uh, puts away um, your carbs, but you have a lot of fat. So keto use a lot of cheese, okay? When you're uh, using the keto food uh, recipes. Milk and cheese and creams. Okay, so that's how we're just going to put all the uh, cauliflower. So, the kind next, secure to the Varoma leak. Okay. And make, make sure that you still have 20% of the uh, space to get the vapor uh, to cover all of your, um, what we call, uh, leak. Okay, so secure. Nicely, and then um, at, uh, in 50 minutes, which is already uh, set it in here, and at Varoma, um, I just gonna start with steaming it. So at 50 minutes, just leave it. So if you are in indigo, you can actually uh, leave it to cook, okay? So don't worry of um, leaving it because it's actually um, safe to do it. Okay, so while, uh, while uh, it's cooking, so in a day, I'm actually uh, just um, clear my stove, uh, I mean, my tabletop, and um, as simple as um, what I'm trying to say, when you're cooking with the mix, your tabletop is actually less mess, okay? So you will notice that you don't really use a lot of things, like today, I'm using a lot of bowls because it's just to speed things up. But um, on the day, uh, you are actually just so show busy and you don't have to use a lot of bowls to even um, wash, okay? So uh, during 15 minutes, I'll be showing you uh, the things actually, uh, the things that you um, gonna receive in the box when you bought your Thermomix, okay? So let's go through with this first. This is what we call, um, simmering basket, okay? So this simmering basket, it sits in your um, thermomix bowl, okay? So it sits in your thermomix bowl, 
whereby you can actually use this for cooking your rice. Okay, so one thing I love about this simmering basket, I cook my rice daily in this. I don't use my old rice cooker anymore because it's really efficient to use this. So from my beras, you know, my rice where I put my, 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 my rice. Um, so just get the beras into here straight away. And then I can actually uh, wash it because it won't uh, spill out from this uh, holes, okay? So they actually research and you can uh, do that, that uh, it enables you to wash it without spilling even one single rice, okay? So with that rice, you wash, and then you just put into the bowl, okay? So if I can just pull this bowl and just gonna show how it's done. So you just put it in the bowl like that. And below this, you have the water. So low GI rice, how it works, the kanji, the starch and the sugar uh, being removed through the water. So the aito, uh, the beras is actually very, the rice is actually very light uh, because you don't consume this starch and the sugar, okay? So when, whenever you have the rice ready, and this is spatula, yeah? So you, uh, uh, you are actually hot when, when it's cooked, right? So it has this one hook that you can hook that there, and that's how you use your spatula and your simmering basket. They actually really think about all our, uh, their users, how to uh, maximize every inch of the design okay. of their accessories, yeah? Okay, if you have any questions that you can check in the box, our advisors will actually uh, reply to your message, okay? So um, let's have your questions in the chat box, okay? So that's simmering basket. Other than that, what we can use to um, see the IA. When you, have you tasted lim, uh, TM6 laminate? It's actually really fresh and good, okay? So we have the uh, kulit, okay? The laminate uh, skin, and you want to kind of separate it with the laminate itself. So all you need to do is just, you know, use your um, simmering basket and see the water uh, with the, and separated with the skin. Okay, so that's how you use your um, simmering basket. Okay, next is what we call butterfly. Okay, so this is butterfly where we use to whisk. Okay, if you're, you're living your pavlova, you can do your dalgona coffee. You're using this, you can do this for your nasi goreng china nasi goreng um so what it actually do is actually stir the uh nasi goreng inside and you can even use this for you know when you cook your salmon your fish so that it's, it doesn't break here yeah? okay so you're using this for um uh, whisking right other than that we have this what we call a splash guard okay how do we use this splash guard the idea is when you use this um, high temperature, um, uh, high temperature mode. Okay, so we can menggoreng, yeah, menggoreng. We can actually stir frying in the thermomix, uh, whereby it uses the high temperature mode. Okay, but with the temperature mode, it will require you to use this splash guard. Is just to avoid splash, uh, uh, splattering of oil. Okay. So it's just safety feature. It will lock together. The interlocking will lock together, and that's how it prevents all from splattering. Well, um, for me, it I I could not see that it splattered so much that I really need need to use this. But then it's part of the uh, requirement. Okay, so it won't proceed until you put this um, on the top of the lid. So safety measure is actually paramount for thermomix, okay? So it is very secure that you, are, you feel safe and comfortable for even your kids cooking besides you, yeah? So, you know, sometimes your kids is always, they are always um, wondering and are always wanted to help you in the kitchen. And, but we always shove them away just to, you know, be very careful with oil, splatter, so takut terkena minyak panas, air panas, right? 
But then, you know, they are kids, they, they want to explore. So with the mom mix, actually, you can have your kids around you with them doing things together, especially when the food are actually cooked with them, the tendency for them to eat right away and enjoy it uh, really uh, good when they cook it together with you, right? Okay. So that's one good thing with thermomics that it's safe enough for you to cook with your uh, kids around, okay? So I have eight minutes. It's actually, a, as you can see, it's doing its thing, uh, steaming the veggies on the top here, okay? Um, okay, so let's go back to the um, accessories. So what we call here, I call this my best friend, okay? So why do I call this best friend? Because whenever I need to cook, so I have to have this. This is where uh, it helps you when you, you know, when you uh, you can chop, you, with the mix, you don't have to chop your ve uh, veggies. You don't have to chop your onions anymore. Okay, it means that you have just to chop the onions into the bowl. It will actually uh, grind for you, okay? So when it's actually um, chopped and grind in it, um, all you need to do is actually to uh, scrape it down and then it will actually so to win for you, okay? It will um, stir fry for you, okay? So this is how you use your uh, spatula to even, you know, when you, uh, you, you can do ice cream as well, yeah? So uh, with the mix, you can do ice cream and it's so good and it's healthy because it's 100% fruits as well. You don't have to put sugar and you don't have to, uh, to put cream, it's 100% fruits. And it's one of the good thing about Thermomix where you can enjoy healthy food um, and uh, without worries. Okay, so how you use this um, spatula. So you have the, um, what we call the hole there. So it prevents you, this circle thing prevents you uh, to chop the blade okay so that is actually why it's there so when you're doing your ice cream you can just you know pushing kind of like that so that's the idea using the spatula the other thing about spatula how it designed like i said just now is uh you can hook your simmering basket with it and the other thing is it won't um kotokan your table uh, top okay so it designed in such a way like you can see when it's the goal Okay, it's still not um, touch the, uh, your tabletop. So it's hygienic and yeah, it's cool, right? So that's a spatula. What else that I wanted to show you? So this is the bowl, okay? So this bowl is actually 2.2 liter, uh, whereby um, it is highly mixed stainless steel. And I have a lot of customers asking me this question. So um, I just made curry and then I want to make um, ice cream after that. Wouldn't my ice cream smells like curry? Okay, so <laughs> the answer is no. The reason is because the stainless steel would not absorb the uh, smells like the normal um, blender, okay? So if you realize normal blender, normally most of the blender outside are actually made out of plastic. So it absorbs all the bawang, bawang, it absorbs all the uh, bau, okay? But not with Thermomix, you can do sambal belacan, then you do your uh, mango lassi, your mango lassi wouldn't uh, taste like sambal belacan, okay? So don't worry about the uh, taste or the smell, it won't, okay? Um, and uh, we, we have the blade inside, okay? So the blade inside here has the four, what we call uh, four blades. So two of the blade, uh, okay, sorry, the four blades with two movement, whereby uh, this Thermomix, one thing that I really like about Thermomix is you don't have to change the accessories again and again, the blade for every, uh, different function. So you have one blade to do all, okay? Chop, grind, um, it can mill, okay? So you, you're just using one blade, whereby this blade uh, has two movement. So one uh, counter, uh, sorry, the clockwise uh, is actually to chop, to actually blend your ingredients. 
and the other side is actually the reversal, uh, the reverse function, uh, the reversal of um, of the blade is actually just to stir. Okay, so don't worry about the chicken or your fish to uh, break, you know, um, or blend. Okay, so because we have this function uh, between reverse and uh, blending. Okay, so that's how. Uh, the uh, blade um, moves. Um, the other thing that about thermomics, we have this turbo function. One of the uh, functions actually turbo, uh, whereby it actually as the speed is two up to two hundred and fifty kilometers per hour. It's even faster than your car, right? So um, that's the thing. Uh, one thing good about thermomics. Have you actually uh, tasted the lemonade? In six seconds, you're actually having a fresh lemonade made from the rock sugar. So in two seconds, all the rock sugar uh, breaks in like a powdery, um, uh, you know, uh, powdery form in just two seconds. So it's brilliant that way, yeah? So this is all technology. Uh, that good thing about the thermomix itself is the motor, okay? So the motor itself, it wouldn't heat that like as other kitchen appliance do. So that's the big difference between Thermomix and the, uh, the normal uh, kitchen appliance, whereby uh, it doesn't have the fan. So do you notice if your blender, when you blend a bit longer than how it's supposed to, it has that smell, like a burning smell, it's because the heat and the rubber actually uh, collides to each other and it, um, it uh, creates the heat. So you, you can smell that burning and you, you're going to stop that uh, step, right? So you, you don't have that issue with thermomix because we don't have fan. It's not noisy. We don't have that uh, any frictionless motor, okay? So we don't have that issue. And even when you want to chop, uh, even you want to blend something like sambal blachan, you know, you don't blend with water, but the, but a normal blender requires water to blend things. With the Momix, you don't have to have water to blend ingredients. That's why when it chops your sambal blachan, it's, it's already good to, uh, as if you are actually, you know, using your water, your tumbuk, apa tu, penumbuk kan? Uh, so there's no penumbuk requires anymore. It, it, it really do even the traditional way in a modern way <laughs> okay so i've been talking about 15 minutes now 45 seconds more for my uh veggie to see okay all right so what else that do we have for um in the box okay so let's cover this one as well you, you're gonna have this one cookbook okay we have the chinese version cookbook and we have also the basic cookbook in english version so whatever the recipes in here are actually in the cookie dough as well, it's in your thermomix. And, but then, you know, sometimes we like to have that touch and feel um, uh, look, right? You, you want to see the photos, it's in here and it's beautiful. And at the back here, it's showing you uh, the tips, okay? All right, so it calls me, so it means that it's done. Okay, so what's the next uh, um, step? So it says, transfer into a baking dish, which is this one, and set aside, okay? So I'm just gonna transfer this later on. But, um, okay, I'm just gonna do that for a while. Uh, and then what about next? Okay, so it says discard water. So just, very carefully, I'm just gonna discard the water. Okay. And I will continue. Okay. So next is uh, garlic. Two cloves of garlic. Um, do know that thermomix can peel your onions and your garlic. So this is actually a prepared garlic already. So what I normally do at the weekends, I prepare all my, you know, uh, bawang bawang and all, so that in the uh, uh, working days, I mean, my uh, working from home 
lunch time and just campak campak and my lunch is ready. So that's the beauty of the moments that it can be very organized and help you during the day. So these are actually uh, pit um, garlic from the moments itself. Okay, so cool. So I'm just gonna uh, close it. So it says to close the measuring cup. So what it's actually doing is chopping my garlic, okay? Five seconds. So the moment mix is all about seconds and minutes. Okay, so chopped, all chopped. Okay, next one is 150 cream cheese. Okay, so when it's actually chopped, I use my um, spatula just to kind of put it down here at the bottom. Okay, and then cream cheese. Okay, so I prepared my cream cheese, 150 gram of cream cheese. Okay, what's next? Okay, I'm just gonna put pour 200 grams of whipping cream. So keto food is all about cream and cheese and milk. Okay. Okay, so that salted butter. Okay. Salted butter. And a bit of salt. So I'm just gonna use this Himalayan salt. And two fish ground black pepper, okay? So if you uh, wish to skip any of the ingredients, you can do so. So it's really up to your preference, okay? So I'm gonna close this again. Okay, just the fan next. And then requires me to uh, turn the dial to speed one. So now it's actually mixing with a uh, temperature at 60 uh, degrees Celsius, okay? So for two minutes, it's actually mixing. So, and while it's doing that, what I'm actually gonna do is, you know my veggie just now, I'm just gonna put this away. Okay. So let's see the outcome on the veggies. Okay, when you have your uh, varoma, right? When you have a steamed food, so use a lid to put on your tabletop so that the water would not um, drip, okay? So that's how you want to use your uh, lid, okay? You just place it in there. So I'm just gonna, okay. And you can see how it is really nicely steamed, okay? So I have on the top is my cauliflower, okay? And I'm just gonna put it there. Next is my Brussels sprout and my um, broccoli, okay? So green and so nice because I know it is steamed at the perfect temperature. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that it's nicely uh, Balance. Okay, so I have my veggie dish already. So what it's actually doing is the cream on the top, okay? So it's just mixing just another few seconds and we're gonna bake this uh, after this, okay? Okay, so 21 seconds and at the same time, I wish to tell you, so I, we've covered the accessories and that the good thing with Thermomix, you don't have to add any other accessories. Once you get your boxes, you're ready to cook away, okay? So that's the good thing about Thermomix. Okay, what's the price for Thermomix, okay? 
Okay, so it's actually done for that step and uh, pour the sauce over the uh, tray. But then let's uh, see the um, prices, okay? So the price, the price, uh, there's three ways of to do payment for this thermomix and the total price is uh, 6,988 whereby you can have three ways of paying. So you can either pay online, um, full payment, you can do um, credit card, free interest, installment up to 24 months. You can even do, if you you don't have a credit card, you can do even debit installment, which with the deposit up to 18 months. Okay, there are a few ways. You can ask your advisor who um, invite you this morning um, so uh, you can ask more about the uh, prices, but we will touch the prices again and info about uh, Thermomix at the end of this um, session. So stay tuned. I'm actually at my last stage, okay? Which is for my cream. So you can see my cream there. Okay, so you just pour onto it. And I will be baking this in my oven, okay? In 20 minutes, okay? So I'm just gonna pour everything in like that with your spatula to help you. You're pouring every single thing in the uh, your bowl, okay, and I will have this in my um, what we call oven. But before I forgot, I have don't forget the one that we did the mozzarella. Remember, and that's the best part, okay. So, with the mozzarella, just put it on top like that. And with the help of your spatula, okay, you can do this. So it's really convenient. So someone said, uh, you're looking for easy and convenience. If this is not convenience, uh, it is convenience, don't worry. <laughs> okay, I'm actually done. I'm just gonna shove this into my oven. Okay, it looks so good. Okay, it smells so good as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. Um, I'll come back to you later. So hopefully uh, we can actually go in the, to the next, um, um, what we call uh, chef for the day. Okay, we will see the ikan uh, sambal ikan bilis now. Thank you very much. Okay, so see you soon. Hi, good morning. My name is Zarina. And okay, earlier, uh, our host Sue did something using the cookie dough recipe. However, today I'll be demonstrating on a rest, how to do um, the bread caramel pudding uh, manually using a manual, uh, using a recipe that I found uh, on YouTube. It's Chip Nong's uh, recipe where I converted, which I converted uh, into the TM way, okay? To the TM6 way, okay? So... It's very simple, only two simple steps. Okay, so what you need is to do the caramel liquid. Okay, um, that one I use a recipe from Cookie Do, okay, using the sugar stages mode. Okay, so what I like about it is uh, that it's really convenient. Okay, um, previously when I tried to do the caramel liquid uh, manually, uh, it, it always turns out to be if you salah step, it will turn out to be lumpy and it hardens, you know. Uh, but now with the sugar stages, all you need to do is just follow the guided instructions given on the screen and it will actually stir. So you don't have to monitor the fire, watch the fire if it gets burnt. All you have to do is just let it cook for you, let it uh, make the prepare the liquid for you. So I've, I've actually uh, prepared it ahead. So it's already in my container. All right. So now let's start. We will do the pudding. Okay, so for this recipe, all we need is three eggs. Okay, so it's very simple. This next step, you just put all the ingredients inside the mixing bowl and you mix for 20 seconds. So the ingredients are actually three eggs. So I'm just going to put in three eggs inside. Okay, and one cup of 
you can either use fresh milk or uh, evaporated milk. So I'm using evaporated milk, okay. And four slices of bread, uh, white bread. Um, you have to cut the side and it's quartered, yeah. So you cut uh, it into four. So just put everything inside and one cup of water. All right, half cup of condensed milk. It's really, really easy and convenient to um, cook this manually as well. So if you don't want to use any recipes from Cookie Do, you can always use your own recipe and do it manually or convert any recipes. And one teaspoon of vanilla essence, okay? So that's it. Now we are going to mix it all together, blend it for 20 seconds. Speed six. Okay, so when you hear this sound, means it's ready for the next step. Okay, it's for the new. So now our pudding is ready. So all we have to do is actually strain it and put it into the caramel liquid. Okay, you have to strain it using a strainer. Okay, so because you want a smooth texture. Okay, you want it to be smooth. You want to give it a smoother texture. So you just have to strain it. Okay. And after this, we are going to steam it for 40 minutes. Yeah, Baroma Steam Tea. It's really, really simple. That's it. Only two steps. Make the caramel liquid and then the pudding itself. Right, you're going to pour everything. Okay. So we have another recipe on cookie dough on cream caramels. That one is without bread actually. But this recipe is using bread, okay? Uh, it's a recipe I found from YouTube. So it's really, really simple. This is only two steps. Almost done, so bear with me. Okay, so once you've strained everything, okay, it's smooth and nice. So now it's time for us to actually steam it. All right, so because I have two bowls, I'm just going to put this aside. All right, and just put in the other bowl to steam my pudding now that it's ready. Okay, so we need 1000 grams of water. Okay. So the, the M6 has its own built-in weighing scale. Uh, so you just click on the scale and don't forget to click tear and you can just measure 1,000 grams, all right? And then now using the Varoma dish, we're going to place it on top like this, okay? Oh, before that, I would like to show you something, sorry. Um, I'm using this tree bag, okay? This is currently, if you purchase it in this period, you will get this as one of the purchase and post gift, okay? It's really useful. Uh, what you can do is with this, um, it gives you proper steam circulation, okay? Because you don't, uh, you won't close the holes here. So if you put it on top, if you put it inside, it will uh, actually not close the holes and you will have proper steam circulation, okay? So, I think it's a perfect gift. All right, so close the lid and then now we are ready to steam it for 40 seconds, uh, sorry, 40 minutes. Varoma temperature. When we steam, we always use Varoma. And speed three. 
that simple. All right, guys, only two steps. Okay, so while waiting, I just want to share a little bit before I pass on to the next presenter. All right, so I just want to talk about the kneading mode. Okay, you get perfect knead every time. All right, so we have thousands of great recipes, cake recipes. You can make a lot of delicious um, desserts, okay? And um, you always get the perfect uh, knead, the perfect texture because all the recipes are tried and tested and it's also because of the perfect temperature control. So the yeast activation, you'll get it perfectly, you know, because now you can control it at 37 degrees. And it only takes, it's really, really fast to prepare your pizza dough or any uh, bread dough, okay? For example, like chapati, it only takes four minutes to knead your dough. And for pizza, uh, it only takes two minutes to prepare the dough, okay? And then you can start doing the topping and, you know, put it in the oven. So you can do really nice fluffy mantaus, okay? Uh, your killer toss, cute little buns. You can even make your fish ball paste and also your own pasta, all right? So the TM6 is really a wonderful machine. Okay, it, it, do, it does wonders, okay? You can do practically, basically anything that you wish to eat, okay? We have a lot of uh, community groups where they share about the recipes, on the recipes, all right? So it also has a pre-clean mode, which I love uh, so much where, you know, after cooking, after baking, you know, sometimes you have the dough stick to the mixing bowl. So now we have the uh, pre-clean mode where it loosen up the dough bits for you. So cleaning is easier, okay? So it's really, really convenient. All right, so, and then now I want to share uh, on the four modes. Uh, before that, you can do a lot of uh, desserts, for example, even Malay traditional kueh kueh, like uh, I've done kueh kochi labu, Boko ubi, uh, curry puff, you know, you can make the kulit, okay? Uh, you can knead inside your thermomix. And you can do a lot of cakes, breads, like banana cake, banana bread, your brioche. So a lot of recipes. If you don't want to do it uh, using the cookie dough recipes, you can always uh, use any of the manual uh, recipes. So you can just uh, use the kneading function, all right? So it's really, really convenient. And it's much more convenient to do it um, using the thermomix. For example, for baking, if you do, uh, you want to melt your chocolate. So how do you usually do it? The conventional way you have to do the double boil method, right? So the double boil method, you need to actually be there physically, stir, keep stirring to get, you know, at, to make sure that it doesn't overheat and you get that, you get that right uh, temperature. However, now because you can control your temperature here with the thermomix, at 50 degrees, you can now melt your chocolate perfectly. So that's why the TM6 is really, really convenient for baking. And uh, most importantly, even for those who never baked in their whole entire life, you will be amazed and blown away because uh, totally no baking skills needed. All right. So you just have to follow the step-by-step -step, step -step instructions given to you on the screen and you'll be as good as a pro baker already. Okay, so I'm going to touch a bit on the four modes, okay, the kettle mode, uh, getting the right temperature is very important, all right, for example, did you know that uh, brewing your tea is not necessarily uh, best taken at 100 degrees, all right, so for your green tea, it is actually perfect tea brewing at 75 degrees, okay, for your green tea. And for your coffee, it is perfect to brew it at 95 degrees, again, now that you can control the temperature, it is perfect. You can just have it at the precise temperature, okay? So you can, the other function that Sue already mentioned also, you have the weighing scale, dough mode, turbo mode, which you can do the laminate in six seconds only, okay? And pre-clean mode, it helps you to loosen up the dough bits. Kettle mode, all right? This kettle mode is really special because you get to control the temperature. Blending, slow cook, slow cook for up to eight hours. Fermentation mode and sous vide. I'll go into detail. All right, so now is the slow cook mode. So it is also your slow cooker. All right, it's very important, especially when you do like soup tulang and all, you want to preserve the moisture of your meat, right? You don't want to dry up all your ingredients. So you can always use the slow cook mode, okay? So you cook up to eight hours on reverse mode. All right, so you can do your beef stew, you can do your braised duck or your braised lamb shanks and red bean soup. So now your cooking will be very, 
uh, flavorful and you know um, it just gives you that nice um, moisture to your meat all right so the next mode is fermentation mode so now you can make your own cheese and yogurt how awesome is that right so usually we prepare our yogurt the night before so that in the morning you can actually have your yogurt okay so this fermentation mode is uh, between 37 to 70 degrees celsius so up to 12 hours okay um up to 12 hours how cool is that right now you can even make your own cheese all right and the next mode is your sous vide mode all right um i think everybody loves this you know, um, sous vide method is, um, you know, usually when you go to most of the fine dining restaurants, they actually cook their steaks uh, using this method, all right? Sous vide mode, sous vide method, whereby they use a vacuum seat bag uh, and preserve all the moisture and flavor in the Ziploc bag or the vacuum seat bag, all right? And they use a, a consistent low temperature control water. It is cooked in consistent low temperature controlled water all right so giving you a really nice juicy tender and moisture meat okay so if you want to have a crisp that some crispiness uh in your meat you can just sear over the pan for 40 between 40 seconds to one minute depending on how uh, you like your meat to be so you can have sous eggs okay and you can have sous salmon or even your steaks all right, so that's about it. So I'm going to uh, let it steam. Okay, we have about 30 minutes and then uh, it's done. So I will show you. Okay, after steaming, you have to put it, you have to refrigerate it for about two hours at least. Uh, all right, so later I will show you. I did a, uh, another batch earlier. So I will show you the final dish later. All right, so now I think um, that's all from me. I will pass on to the next presenter. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Can you hear me clearly? Can. Yes. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, my name is Nor Ain. Uh, I'm one of the advisors in Alpha Branch. And today I am making some like familiar. Okay, uh, just a little bit of story. Okay, just to, uh, you know, uh, interact more. Um, when first, my, when my manager approached me, Hey, do you want to make a uh, demo? Uh, you can cook anything you want to cook. So I choose sambal tambilis because everyone loves sambal, right? Every Malaysian loves sambal. Uh, at least you know what is sambal. And you, you, can, you can eat it with uh, buns, with rice, with nasi lemak, and so many more. It's so versatile that it, you can eat it with, uh, I can say, everything else. Okay, and then this is my favorite dish, my late mom's favorite dish. And this is the first dish that I learned to cook with my uh, with my late mother when uh, it was my teen years. And, and I want to show you today, it is amazing. It is mind-blowing how easy you can cook sambal with thermomix. No mess at all, so you no know smell. And then you, you know, it's very convenient. It's very, uh, it's very, uh easy and convenient okay okay let's start cooking okay today make sure I, I i can't see anybody else okay today i'm going to make some vitamin so what you need to do uh you only have you only need shallot garlic and uh chili paste yeah that's all, chili paste. And the rest is only the flavoring, the sugar, salt, and tamarind paste. Okay, so this morning I prepared my shallots, I prepared my garlic. You know how how long do I take to prepare this much of garlic? Can you guess? This much. Two, I think two bulbs, two bulbs of garlic. This is this only takes me 10 seconds, you know, 10 seconds to prepare this much of garlic. And this is the I could say one week I can because I like to cook now nowadays with the moment. So this will finish in one week. And then you see I have all my shallot stock. I got this much of shallot within one minute. Within one minute using thermal mix. No I can tearing or you know it's very easy. I just put inside the, the thermal mix, reverse blade, and that's it. Done and done. See my shallots. And then I got I want to show you. I hate to prepare 
prepare chili paste before this, but I got to prepare one pack of this chili, chili bowl without having to cut the chili. I just have to put inside the um, thermomix turbo for one second. I got all my chili cut and I just sip using the uh, Varoma dish. It's very, very convenient. That's why I love to make sambal because I have all my ingredients ready. Like that, okay? Let's go cooking. Let's start cooking. So before this, Sue has my uh, Sue has shown you he's using the cookie dough recipes, uh, while Zarina is using manual recipes. So my recipe is going to be uh, mix a little bit of cookie dough setting and as well as using my late mom's um uh, recipes. So uh, you can find some by ikan bilis recipes inside cookie dough as well if you are not sure on the setting. And then you can alter it using your recipes, your own recipes. You are turun to murun, you learn from your grandma or your late mothers, uh, from your mothers or grandma or the aunties, okay? So what I'm going to do, just put in, no need to cut, just put, campak, campak everything. All right, my garlic, okay? Just put inside, I, I usually, I, I don't really like a sambal with too much uh, garlic. So I just put two cloves, okay? And then I'm going to add in um, oil, cooking oil, okay? How much cooking oil to put in is okay. I can measure it for you. So just use the built-in uh, a weighing scale. Okay, around 40 grams to 50 grams you should be fine for this much of uh, shallots and garlic. Okay. Basically, for Malay cooking, you can... It's very convenient for Malay cooking because you can make all the paste, yeah, curry paste, tom yum paste. The method is the same. The concept is, all, uh, is the same. Okay, put in your ingredients, add in oil. And then you blend it, saute, and in all your proteins, water, and coconut oil. And that's it, done. Okay, so I'm going to probably 20 seconds to get my uh, shallots and garlic finely chopped. Okay, I'm going to use speed pan to get perfect taste. Okay. Okay, done. So you can see, so the same concept, if you want to make your own paste, yeah, your tom yum paste, your curry paste, you can do like this, add ingredients, add oil, and then you can get the smooth texture of paste, okay? So because I already have my chili paste, so I uh, uh, I can add later on. If you don't have chili paste, you want to add chili, chili curry, uh, you know, red chilies, you just put uh, together and blend it together, okay? Okay, let's put it back. I'm going to add my chili paste. This is around two tablespoons. I measure it for you just now. Uh, it's around 50 gram because I do this a lot of sambal because I just love sambal. My, my husband loves sambal. Okay, you can just use your spatula. Sorry. Use your spatula. Okay. Next step. Okay, just wipe a bit. Okay. Next step. I'm going to add water. Okay. Uh, because I don't use uh, chi, uh, what belacan, shrimp paste. Uh, my husband cannot eat shrimp paste. So what I do is this, I soak a bit. Uh, you can add uh, water with um, uh, chicken stock. Yeah, chicken stock. Or my uh, grandma taught me to uh, soak your your uh, anchovies, your ikan bilis, and get the water. So get the water around 150 ml. Then just add in. Okay. Sugar, around three uh, teaspoons. Add everything in. Okay. I got my salt. 
okay to taste and have this tamarind paste okay if you don't have this paste you can use uh you know asam jawa yang dengan biji tu just add in water okay around one teaspoon all right that's it i'm going to cook my sambal and it's amazing because you don't have to wait sudah sedar dah pecah minyak dah okay See, it's like around 30 minutes. This one, I borrowed the setting from Sambal Ikan Bilis in Procure Recipes. So don't worry if you are not sure about your settings. Just find similar recipes and you can copycat. Okay, just use the setting and use all your own ingredients. Okay, so for sauteing, use 120 degrees Celsius. Okay, and I'm going to make um, this kacau. So speak one or two should be fine. Okay. So that's it. I just have to wait for my sambal to cook to pecah minyak and to cook. Okay, it's very, very convenient. Can you imagine this 30 minutes? You actually have nothing to do. You just have to wait. So if you got this 30 minutes for yourself, what would you like to do? Uh, if probably if, it, uh, if you're working from home, for example, you can take this 30 minutes to actually reply some email, you know, make some calls. Probably if you're having, you have business, take this time to answer to your customers' queries. If you are mother, take this time. This 13 minutes is very precious. You can play with your children. You know, 15 minutes of uh, playing uninterrupted with your children can actually save your day because you have happy children, happy children, happy mummies. You know, no tantrum, less tantrum. So they got the attention that they want, you know. If, for example, uh, I know some of you probably uh, mother-to-be, yeah, expecting your baby soon. So this take this time to take rest, you know, have this time for yourself with books that you are not able to read before this. Take this time because this very precious 30 minutes. Yeah, actually, you don't have to wait in front of the stove, kacau, and tambah air, and uh, you have to wait, uh, wait for the... Um, Sambal to actually pecah minyak. Sometimes it doesn't pecah minyak forever. It's taking forever. And then, then you will realize that your minyak is not, is not enough for the, for the chili to pecah minyak. You know? And then it's very frustrating. Sometimes you got your baby uh, wanting your attention while you were cooking. And then you left your stove. And then suddenly you come back to your stove. It's already burned, overheat. Yeah? So it's very, for me, it's very convenient with uh, I have been cooking this uh, with Thermomix for months now and it is it's amazing and I just love how easy uh, cooking uh, makes. So you know, sometimes uh, I tell you one secret, you can ask your husband to cook for you. Ha, I don't trust my husband to cook for me with the stove, not even sausage, but with Thermomix, guarantee, jadi. Ha. All you need to do is put inside the ingredients. You can choose the menu you want for your husband to cook. Just choose in the cookie dough. Add cook today. Abang, can you cook for me? Ah, that's it. That's it. You can just find. Uh, he can use. He can use uh, this thermomix. Find what's uh, in the menu. Cook today. So he just have to put in, in the in ingredients. Click next. Turn the knot, that's it. He can watch his Netflix movies uh, while watching his uh, F1 race or football match. You know, no harm. What he got to lose, right? He has happy family, he has happy wife. Yeah. So, and it's very, and, and if you notice, okay, no fume. Actually, this is only vapor. So, I can still look good. I can still smell good all day long. Yeah. Looking good for everyone. For my family, even if your husband look at you, try jatuh cinta kali pertama every time. Uh, every day is love at first time. Okay? Because you look good, you smell good every day. And even the best part, you got to serve delicious, healthy, you know, a comfort home cook for your whole family. And best part, you can serve it with a smile. Because of what? You feel, you feel relaxed. Yeah, it's very relaxing. It's very rewarding cooking with Thermomix. So just see, I just leave it. 
I'm going to show you the result. Mind blowing. You got very nice uh, uh, chili uh, sambal. Yeah, the oil is is red and it's very tasty. So in the next step, I'm going to add my uh, anchovies, ikan bilis. Okay, this one I soak a bit so that I can get a softened uh, anchovies. Or if you like crispy uh, ikan bilis, you can use crispy ikan bilis and try it using Thermomix. It's super easy. You just have to add in anchovies, add in oil, and leave it, leave it. Let Thermomix do the cooking. You don't have to worry about ikan bilis hangi or uh, tak rangok ke apa ke. You are going to get the perfect crispy ikan bilis every time, every time. Okay, I love my Thermomix so much. Okay, so um, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to pass to uh, Amira. Okay, are you ready Amira? Hello, yes, hi, I'm ready. Yeah, because later on, I just have to uh, add in anchovies and transfer into yeah. bowl, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you, Annie. Okay, so um, it's oh, it's already eleven forty-five. We're going to be very quick for the closing. So um, okay, so you can take a guess what I'm going to make today, the last dish for today. You can type in the chat box. So if you want to ask anything, just um, type in the chat box and. Uh, we will um, basically answer your question, okay? So the last um, meal for today's um, cooking show, I'm going to make Java chip frappuccino, okay? So basically, um, when you go to Starbucks, the my favorite blend, um, basically my favorite frappuccino is basically Java chip. So do you know how much it costs for a grande um, Java chip? You can um, type in the chat box. Siapa betul? Mesti selalu order, okay? Okay, how much does it cost for Java chip frappuccino? Now I'm going to make it um, using the Thermomix and it's very quick and easy. Almost 20 ringgit. Okay, 18 ringgit. Yes, that's right. Um, so for one Java chip frappuccino, it costs you almost um, 19 ringgit. And um, for, for us, we can choose the best um, quality ingredients that we want to make um, for the Java, Java chip. So for myself, I like uh, my java chip to be less sweet and I use um, calabout um, calyps for the, for the chips. So it tastes so, so good. And I like my coffee to be, you know, uh, usually I'll take triple shot for coffee. So I, I put more espresso shot in this java chip. Okay, so without further ado, let's um, go straight um, on the demo. I'm going to show you how to make the java chip from China. So these are all the ingredients. Um, I use a, this is Calyps, Calabot Calyps. You can basically buy this at any bakery shop or even Shopee. So just search Calabot, um, dark chocolate. I use dark chocolate for this one. And I use um, espresso, it's 60 ml. Um, if you have coffee machine, you can uh, just um, take any coffee and take 60 ml. Or if you don't have any coffee machine, you can um, just use the normal um, coffee again. Okay? and also Hershey's and um, fresh milk and as well the whipped cream. Okay, so let's start. Okay, you know that this recipe is original from the Starbucks barista. So it's really good. Kalau, you know, once you got your Thermomix, you, this is a, the must-do recipe. It's really good. Okay, so first, you, you have to blend the carrots, okay? So we will um, chop the carrots into small, into small chunks. Can we put on the carrots in is 50 gram. I have pre-measured before the show. Okay, so we put uh, close the lid, the measuring cup. So we blend this for five seconds. I'm gonna make it six to six point five. Okay, so we already <coughs> basically blend the the carrots. Okay, so once blend, once you have blended the carrots, look at this. It turns into a small chunk. So you can um, transfer it to the bowl this now, and you have to put aside, okay? So transfer this to the bowl and put aside. So I think they're going to this as topping and as well in the frappuccino. Okay, 
you don't have. So we can try the extra extra on you. And then if you just pour in everything. If you have any questions, do type in the chat box, okay? So we can attend to your questions. Let's make this session interactive. So like the one who will talk, you can, you know, um, give comments or anything. Okay, next, uh, we have to add um, sugar. So this is the, I only use caster sugar because I thought the, I don't have the fine sugar, I see sugar, I, I, I put caster sugar, 50 gram. The original recipe requires you to put 60 gram. But as I said before, I don't like my drink to be too sweet. So I'm just gonna put 50 gram um, sugar. So 50 gram sugar and as well as 60 ml espresso. So you can replace the espresso with um, the normal, you know, like Nescafe Gold or any Nescafe, any coffee that you have. Okay, 60 ml espresso. And then we blend this again, 30 seconds. Seconds. Speed nine. I want the recipe. Yeah, I will share the recipe. You want to see? Then we'll show it. Okay, so we are done with the with blending. Next is we will add um, Hershey syrup. So this is the result. So we we'll blend this now. Okay, so we'll add Hershey syrup. We'll add this one. We'll add um sixty gram of this Hershey syrup. Okay. So you have to put skills, sorry, you have to put skills. You can, you can, because there, there is a built-in skill in the thermomix. So you just um, press tear, tear, and you will put in your chocolate syrup for 60 gram. So 60 gram of fresh syrup. Okay. If you want more of this syrup, we can um, always put more. Okay, and then we will we'll add uh, 500 gram of ice cube. This is the ice cube. Make sure still still So I just I'm a bit of the um, fridge just now. Okay, so just must put everything in the ice cube to remove that one. So you put all the ice cube inside here. 500 gram okay, of ice cube. You want to reach the prep, right? It's a, it's a blended ice. Okay, the ice beat the current skate, so it's gonna take a while. I think I'm going to put water to make it less easier. Okay, so we'll continue adding the ice on 500 grams. Oh, it's 
Oh, tak cukup your program tak apa. Can just continue. Okay, so let's go add work. Work will add 300 gram work. Okay, and lastly, we'll add in the the chocolate candles that we blend just now. Okay, so I'm gonna add just half because the, the extra I'm gonna put on top of the on the drinks. Okay, so next we'll blend this for fifty seconds. Okay, so we are done. Look at the results. This is the, this is the result that you blend the the ice and as well the water. So you can just pour in any your jars. Okay, and you can basically enjoy this. And I pour this. So you can basically um um basically dress it with whipped cream and as well chocolate syrup. Okay, so we're gonna continue pouring this. And take the spoon. So this is um, how it looks like. You can um, put uh, whipped cream on top and as well the java chip. Okay, you can put the whipped cream. You can put as much as you want. And as well the chocolate syrup. The syrup and as well the, the carrots that you, you put this now, you blend this now. And this one. So that's all. This is the java chip. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to try it <laughs> before the chai. Mm. It's so, so good. Yeah, it looks very good. And look at this. You know, you can put as much with whipped cream that you want. And you can put extra milk if you want. You can put extra chocolate syrup if you want. If you want so it's all up to you. Okay. Okay, so. I'm going to explain you more. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, wow, wow, it's very nasty. I'm going to share the recipe once the, the demo is done. Next, I'm going, to, I'm going to share you about more about, um, um, you know, about thermo base. So it's fast and fresh every day. As you, as you have seen, you know, from our cooking demo just now, it's so easy to make even sambal. Like I introduced now, um, it's fast and it's very accurate. Everything is up to one gram accuracy because we have the built-in skill. So and every gram matters. So that's why um our results are always consistent because it's very accurate. And you know, you can pulverize anything that you have in house, even if you have in coffee beans, you can um blend your your coffee beans into um the coffee powder. And as well, cheese, you can blend your cheese into cheese powder and um even rock sugar. So if you like lemonade, for those who have Thermomix, I know this is very famous. Um, the Thermomix lemonade is so good and so, so fresh because um, you, you just need, I think, less than 10 seconds to make a good 
and fresh laminate using thermal mix. And as well, if you want boba tea, you can um, make um, boba tea using thermal mix and it's, you know, it's fresh and healthy based on your ingredients. Okay, next I'm going to jump into the um, benefits of cooking with thermal mix. So today you have seen a lot um, from my fellow advisors on how quick and easy they, they cook using thermal mix. You know, so if you want to make your own titari, if you if you crave for a good titari, you can make um titari using thermal mix. And you know, if, if you crave for a, a steam mantau, you can you know make it and it's it's quick and as well so so easy. And everyone can cook, even you know, for those who cannot bake, for those who don't know how to cook, because we have cookie dough, it's step by step. Um, guided recipe cooking. So now there's no reason for you not to cook. And as well, it's healthy. We have the low temperature mode. We, we can cook our um, broccoli and as well carrots um, using thermal mix. And um, we can use the low temperature mode, cook mode to, to basically to regain all the vitamins. And as well, it's auto cooking and auto washing. This is like um, the most favorite function in thermal mix, it's pre clean function. So um, once you are done with cooking, you can always use the pre-clean function to, to clean up your bowl. So um, it saves a lot of time and as well, um, you know, there's no reason for you not to cook because um, you can basically pre-clean everything using your thermal mix. And space saving, you know, you, you, don't, you don't require at least like 22 appliances in your kitchen. You can sell your rice cooker, you can sell your steamer. You don't even require your white juicer because everything is, you know, in the mix. You can, um, you just have to buy one machine and every appliances, the 22 appliances is, is all in the, in, in one machine. And goodbye to cooking fumes, like, you know, what I showed just now. Um, you know, when you cook using the mix, you don't, you don't smell like curry ayam, you smell like sambal because um, there's no cooking fumes when um, you cook with thermal mix. Okay, next. Um, so if you buy your thermal mix, you'll get the complete package. Like uh, what Sue showed just now, you'll get your thermal mix and as well the, and all the accessories um, uh, in thermal mix. And as well, you get the recipe cookbook, the, the, the basic cookbook. Um, you will get this as well. Um, it has all the recipes um, caught with citrus butter and also it will show you on how to basically um, to use the cooking mode and as well the, you know, all the basic things that you need to know about the more mix. Okay, on cookie dough, on how you want to start cooking and um, how to cook, um, basically how to store the ingredients, everything inside this cookbook. Okay. And, and okay, so if you buy a thermal mix, you will get your VIP cooking glasses like the one that you have now, we are doing now. This is the, the extra, um, you know, um, benefit that you got. You will got our weekly cooking classes that's conducted on weekend. And next, we will have another cooking class, cooking demo at 4 p.m. And we, you will also entitled for free delivery, um, even at Semenanjung and Susaba and Shrawak. And also all online recipes community, we can share all recipes um, at our online recipes community. You also can contribute your recipes if you have um, your, your own recipes on your preference and it's very active. And as well, free unboxing service, we will conduct um, the, the, our advice, the advisors will conduct the um, unboxing service. And also we will do it um, twice, uh, sorry, once every two weeks, okay? And personal advisor support. So if you have, um, you know, any issues regarding your thermal mix, that's, um, you know, very important, the after sales will be. So we will guide you and provide you with full support from, from the advisor. And as well, two years warranty. Um, um, and if, if it's for commercial use, it's only one year. But, um, you know, for our home use, this is, the warranty will be two years. Okay, so you, you have seen all the advices, you know, how we love the thermal mix. Um, and, you know, if you want to join us, 
um, you can start your Tumomix carrier. You can reach out to your advisor and tell them, you know, if you already own your Tumomix, tell them that you want to be um, the advisor as well. All you need to do is just to pay 268 and you will get all the freebies. It's totally worth it. You know, if you ask me, it's, it's a really good experience to be uh, one of the advisor. You just have to pay 268 and... You know, you can learn um, new cooking skills, flexible working hours, and, you know, you will, you will get to know more people. So let's join us, the advisors. And lastly, who would you recommend to the Tome? So who will benefit the, the weekly cooking um, show that you, like you attend now? You can um, basically recommend it to your friends, your family, um, um, basically uh, busy professions, like, you know, those who... Work, works nine to five and you don't have time to cook. Um, your friends will keep on ordering grab food. You can recommend them. Um, give your advisors the three name and you can redeem your host day. Okay, and people who are half conscious like so just now she showed on how to to cook keto um meal. So yeah, you can recommend to to that kind of um, um group. And as well, friends who can't cook. So those who can't cook, um, the moment is a, a great solution. And um, yeah. Okay, so um, it's, it's already 12 o'clock. Thank you so much um, to those who joined. Okay, before we end this cooking show, I'm going to pass around the, the, the screen to first um, Sue. Are you ready? Sue, I'm going to show um, you guys the, the end result of the, of the keto cauliflower. Okay, so you can unmute your mic. Unmute, okay, hello. So I'm back with my cheese bake. So basically, alamak panas juga ya. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it looks. It's so good, right? And don't forget, this is healthy, okay? So let's see. How oh, this is really good. Let's see if this gonna pull out uh, maybe one chunk here, and you can see uh, this. It is so good and <laughs> cheesy. Okay, so it is hot. I can't eat it yet, but it looks so good. Okay, do try this keto uh, recipe. So don't forget get yetta Um, It is really a worthy investment. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> okay, I just want to show you my sunrise dye. Okay. So, Shanti, Vitamina Elo, and then my life is already ready. All cook using some mix. Nasi is so gebu. This sayo is bright. It's very delicious. Uh, it's nutrition. Uh, the nutrition is preserved because it's low cooking. And I got my thermomix cleaning her stuff on her own. So later I didn't have to rinse. I got nothing on my table top to wipe. So I'm I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is my bread caramel pudding. It's really easy to make, only two steps. And there you have it. It's really nice, it's yummy, and um, it's not too sweet for me. So you guys can try it. We will share out the recipes later, yeah? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Zarina. And this is mine, the Java Chip from Shino. So if you want to make one, get your Thermomix now. Um, Abani, if you if you want to get it, let reach out to your advisors and thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.